Hey you, Meowcats are coming at you today with a how to play to Johan. Now listen, I know you're out there, but I really need you to hit that subscribe button. If you don't, every time you use this character's field skill, you'll never upgrade any of your gear. You're going to have a bad time. You're never going to be able to get corpses so that you can fuel it. And it's just going to be horrible. So please hit that subscribe button. Likes and comments help me out a lot too. Also, I stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Meowkaiser at 8 p.m. EST every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Be sure to check me out over there. We have lots of fun. And I have a Discord for Black Survival and my stream. You can check those out in the description down below. Johan's a very interesting character. At first, I didn't really quite understand his skills, but at the end of the day, his skills were very straightforward, so I feel very confident when I am making this how to play guide. One thing to keep in mind is that he has the highest stat attack at level 18 for a D plus mastery hand character. Pretty good, especially because he gets free stat attack. His field skill is Consecration, it is a 40 second cooldown. After channeling for two seconds, he offers one item from in his inventory. So not the items he's equipped with, right? And that offering destroys that item. Depending on the item, he either grants Father's Blessing or Holy Spirit's Blessing effect for 80 seconds. So you can actually stack both of these. You cannot stack two Father's Blessings on top of each other and you cannot stack two Holy Spirit's Blessing on top of each other, but you can have Father's Spirit's Father's Blessing up and Holy Spirit's Blessing up at the same time. You do it based on the grade of the item that, that it is. So if it's a higher grade item, you get higher benefits out of it. And then there's a 0.5, 1%, 2%, 5%, and 80% chance. Those colors represent the rarity of whatever you destroyed. That the equipped item that and equipped item that you have is replaced with a higher grade random item of the same part slash type. So, like, your your weapon can upgrade to an orange weapon, for example. You can upgrade uh, any of your gear. It's completely random. So, basically, this is just an extra if you get it. If you don't get it, it's kind of no big deal. Uh, keep in mind that there is no higher grade item existing. That equipment is replaced with a random one of the same grade. So, his father blessing is uh, you grant basic attack damage reduction based on the grade of the offered armor item. So, it's minus one, minus one, minus two, minus four, minus ten. And then Holy Spirit's Blessing, he grants bonus damage based on the grade of the offered weapon. So plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 5, and plus 12. So this is very powerful for the late game. And then his combat skill is Sermon. He consumes 10 stamina and recovers 5 HP with the next basic attack. This is very handy for early game contesting. Uh, this is also very handy if you just have a stupid amount of stamina and you need some way to get rid of it. So Sermon helps a little bit. But the main thing that you do is just his high stats and his Consecration. You really want to be contesting corpses with this character. This character loves taking everything off the corpse and using it to fuel his consecration. And it lets him contest people that he normally would not be able to contest. So you find your... You basically get free Searing Palm Scrolls is a good way to think about it. And as well as free Uchiwas. It's just very, very powerful. His uh, kit doesn't really require b building any specific items in order to make him feel stronger than normal. You just kind of go with whatever, whatever's quick, and then you want to pay attention to whenever somebody dies, and you want to be there. You want to be there, you want to take their items, and you want to be using it for your buffs so that you can use your buff time to con uh, secure animals. And especially, like, during, like, animal control rounds, that's when you want to be doing it. Other than that, he's mostly a pretty straightforward character. He doesn't do anything too gimmicky other than paying attention to where people die, which is kind of something that you should be doing anyway on any character. It's just that Johan in particular can get use out of anything he finds on the corpse, which most characters cannot. Definitely give him a try. He's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed him. I cannot say for sure if he's good or not, mostly because uh, the North American servers just got released. And you might notice that my ping is significantly better on there. I play very fast, and a lot of the players just aren't quite good yet. It'll be some time before the players start catching up to uh, the skill level that like a lot of the Asian players were at, especially because like a lot of North American players gave up. But, you know, I, I believe we'll get there. I believe that we will have competitive matches one day again. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Muffin, sorry I didn't catch your follow. Oh, hey, it's Blessy. Blessy's also another strong player. It doesn't help that I'm playing a character that I have no idea how he works. Uh, I have a gold. Excuse me.
I need a second. So does this work the way? That took forever. Okay, so it works exactly the way I think it does. Awesome. One scrap metal. You have food. I'm out. Uh, I will finish my weapon while I'm here. Just get everything you need. It's just that easy. Okay. Should I should have went to slums. Slums is better. is fine. There's an animal nearby. I can feel it. That is not where I wanted to go. Just classic Meowkaiser things. It's here. This is mine. Or is it? No, it's still mine. Do need another gemstone. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, we're good here. So we counter stab. We need box at some point. Okay. Steel chain? I can't search. I am speed. Speed wagon. Excuse me. I'm sorry. He definitely disconnected there. I'm sorry, Plessy. That was a disconnect if I've ever seen one. Oh wait, I can consecrate his weapon, that's right. That is the thing I can do. That is the thing I should do. I don't have an accessory.
Interesting. Where's the box? Okay. Bear did not spawn. Johan's neat. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was. So, bear's going to spawn in the last 10 seconds. Can I have a box, please? Sup. Sup. Goodbye. There it is. Should probably finish my armor. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's Johan's strong or I'm just better than the players I'm playing against. You're going to be upset when I consecrate this. up <laughs> Sup. I'll do one last search I do need something here. Cheese, you're weak. First to A. God! Is there anything even here? There is not. Oh, 
Go buy dark blood. I mean, it is a brand new server. I'm pretty sure that they didn't test it for stability. It, it's cost a ton of stamina. It's 10 stamina for 5 HP. Which in most cases is not worth it. Dr. Wickline died. That is unfortunate. I would like some water. Please. Thank you. Thirty, so two four. So in twenty seconds it should spawn? My god! I'm gonna stay for a lighter. <laughs> Only got my lighter. I was hoping I could get away with that, but I could not. I'll figure out a second hand weapon. I will take hot chocolate. It's pretty great, isn't it? Alright, there's the scrap metal I needed. Let's try to get a claw. No claw. Can I get wealth? Can get claw. Can I get wire? Oh my god. Just like any character just feels really strong to play right now. So that's why I'm like reluctant to say that like X, Y, or Z character is strong. Because it's like maybe I'm just better. Maybe. Hey, gemstone. This one's the attack one, right? Yeah. All right. Give me a hammer. I 
need those corpses. Sure. My boots of Hermes upgraded. Cool. Cool. Look at me go. Just wait nine seconds and then consecrate this. I did hit the five percent. Game. I just tried to double craft again. <laughs> These are purple. This is purple, though. <laughs> this is interesting. I have never played a character where I have to play like this. Very interesting, to say the least. I'd say my consecrate for uh, when final three areas begins. Take it. I might actually lose. I'm annoying. What? No, I'm fine. This is fine. So I lost my attack buff. So we need to roll that corpse to get the attack buff back. And we got it. Boy, I don't want to use it yet. I want to use it for final round. Alright! Is Sermon worth using now? I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet. Is Sermon strong if you get the stamina for it? But I don't think with how that game played out, it was worth it. Very interesting, though. Kind of wish that, you know, like this upgraded, but you know what? We, we take those. <sighs> Okay, cool. Interesting character. Very interesting.
YouTube subs to Mio, please. Please, I need them. Yeah, Steam auto transferred servers. Interesting. 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 You! Wrong one. YouTube! If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. It helps me a lot.